Welcome back to the Public Any Project. So I'm just going to stay quiet for a few seconds. You might be able to hear the trance music coming from the crickets in the street. I mean, it's absolutely mind-blowing, the noises that the creatures make around here. So I'm going to show you how the floor dried and also how Anisha's... Uh, cement has cured. Okay, so it's another hot day. We've got all the windows open. So I can see, if you remember, it was probably from about halfway, that, and then the bottom half. So there is a slight uh, damp issue in the centre, so that, that makes sense why it looks a lot wetter than that. But it's the bits that have dried. Match. Match. Which is the gold. Yeah. And even though the concrete, the stones are still porous, so the stones are quite cold, but the cement has actually gone off. It's just dark um, because there is moisture coming out and around it. So that's going to be a, that's a, big... That's a big repair job from the street. So Anish is going to be on with tackling some more of the top half. Mm -hmm. How much do you reckon you'll get done today? Up to here. Up to, what, all the way across? Hopefully. Cool. And I'll show you what me and dad are going to be up to. I'll show you the cement floor that's been cured for about a week now and what we plan to do for the rest of the day. Okay, so we just removed the formwork that was left here last week. And you can see the depth of the floor on this area. But you remember all the middle centres where the gravel was, it's a lot thicker. So we're pretty happy with the finish. Like I said last week, we're going to get some self-leveling on it, uh, which will help lock in that dust. In here just needs clearing out, ready for some shower things to arrive and like fixtures. So I'm gonna get rid of all the sharp rubble because we don't like using that for backfill around the pipes. Clear all this. And we're also gonna work on the lights. The plan is to have one light in here in the center of the room and the second one in there, but running off the same switch, which will make this switch obsolete, which powers that separately currently. So sort out the bird's nest and instead of having the wires go back out the wall, come around the outside and back into there. We're gonna run a new line to there and connect it back. And then that switch can be replaced for something a bit more modern. So whilst dad's on with the electrics, we've ordered a wad heater, but it's, it's gonna to be too big for the existing span. But the future vision where this is gonna have maybe a future worktop and the sink will all be changed, this column can come out. So we're gonna do a bit of a thing. We don't think it's load bearing. And we've also got two more supporting columns on the left and the right. Uh, left and right there but on the full right side so my job is to take out this column and we'll see how it goes
pleased with the amount that I've managed to get on so far. Um, I think I've already done more than I anticipated for the day. But I'm going to try and see if I can do another small mix and just get a little bit more on. As long as I leave myself about an hour to brush it all down, then I should be golden. like that we have a stone wall in reaching distance of being completed and I've recruited a helper for the last stretch and it's funny because last week I was talking about how um, I didn't have the upper arm strength <laughs> this week even just holding a spatula above my head has proven difficult so, that's a good day's work, I would say. I'm pretty excited to see it all totally finished. And a little bit of plaster fell off the wall over here. Well, I say fell. I did pull it off. <laughs> um, I noticed it was loose. So, I'd rather patch it up properly. But that'll be next time. And we'll be on to the next wall. So this one shouldn't take me half the time. Um, one thing you might notice on this wall and on the other wall in the other room, there's red bricks in between, which I'm not too worried about. We've got some like flat white stone tiles. And if you've seen anything that we've done on our house, we've used a lot of white stone tiles around the house on the walls. So I know how to get them stuck on there and I'll just point around them and hopefully they won't look out of place or at least not as out of place as these uh, red bricks. Okay, so we're wrapping up for the end of the day. It's approximately 5 p.m. Sun's out, still scorched at this time of day and I'm gonna show you what Nisha's done first and then what we ended up doing outside in the utility yard. Okay, so she actually got a lot further than what she planned on doing today. And it's just that top edge that she can finish off on the next visit. But it's really, really looking good. Hopefully we've got a few dry days coming up where this will all set properly. Like I say, the concrete's hard. It's just discoloured by the, the moisture coming through from the street. So I think 10 out of 10 job for that. And then she might even be able to start on this hallway soon as well. So whilst Nisha's been doing that, I'll show you what we've done. Okay, so we noticed when we, although they hadn't necessarily keyed in this column, it looks like the original structural uh, load bearing wall there, they've just butted up this top and this single course here, and none of it's keyed in that way. So we're hoping I'm just rebuilding this, but because it's not as structurally sound as we'd like, we're actually considering putting the water heater on this. And the plan is to reinforce this with a few courses of cement with maybe some mesh and yeah fix all that up we didn't bring it down to the ground because it's still supporting the sink um so this will just need repairing which shouldn't be that hard and in the future we'll uh, either concrete mesh this uh, concrete clad with mesh render or possibly uh, plasterboard 
So Dad's figured out what the problem with the electrics was, and it turns out where the junction box is on the outside, the live and the neutral have been switched, which meant even though you turn the light off, the actual housing was still alive. And although it goes outside and comes back in, everything past the door was basically oppositely installed, which is pretty dangerous. It's like if you put the if you unscrew the bulb and you to put your finger in, obviously it's going to be live, so it's not very safe. So what he's done is figured out how to solve it by switching it back to where it is. And we just we brought some bits of wire. We just need a few lamp holder properly to finish connecting it there. But that's all going to be safe. Is I completely disconnected and isolated this switch, which originally powered that second room. So it's just a bit of a repair job and a few uh, blocks to sort out the connections. So after this, after this morning with the electric progress and taking the column out, we spent the afternoon with what mix we had left to try and start repairing some of the cosmetics here. We had to take the soap dish out because of the future design. It would have been too hard to get the cladding on. So we can always install something similar, maybe in the future. Hopefully we're gonna connect the pipes on the next visit and then finish rendering this. And there's only a little bit left there. And I'm just putting the first scratch coat up the wall with the mix. So that's what we got up to today. A bit of electricals, pointing up, rendering, and a bit of smashing, which is always fun. So if you enjoy the video so far and you want to see more or what we get up to on the next visit, don't forget to hit that bell and subscribe and we will see you in the next video. Ciao for now.